ओके सो वी विल स्टार्ट विथ कोर जावा या श्योर ओके can we have two methods in a class with the same name uh no we cannot write two method in a class with same name but uh, we can have uh, we can just change the uh, number of argument yeah like if if the like uh, <clears throat> uh, written type is same uh, so in that case we we uh, cannot have uh, the same method but uh, the like written type is like different uh, uh, no sorry written type is different so we cannot have that same method but if written type is same so in that case we need to pass like uh, uh, different uh, parameters so see like uh, uh, in string class there is join method there are two join methods actually yeah so one take some other argument and one take yeah. uh, a character of sequence of string then uh the uh, delimiter so there are two joins method and yeah so we can have two methods with the same name you just need to change the uh, number of arguments and that is yes o- overloading yes we need we need to change only the arguments or uh, the like data types uh, in uh, in the arguments okay so how objects of a class are created if there is no constructor defined in the class okay so like uh, we need to uh, use like new keyword uh, using new keyword we can create object okay what is the difference between abstract class and interface yeah uh, so abstract class is like uh, not purely abstract we can say abstract class like uh, it will it it accept uh, abstract as well as non abstract method but in case of interface interface only accept the uh, abstract method only okay so if a th- uh, if a method throws null pointer ex- exception in a super class so can we override it with a method that throws runtime exception in subclass uh sorry your voice is breaking uh, can you please repeat again yeah i am saying that uh, yeah. uh, we have a super class in which we have a method that is throwing null pointer exception okay and yes. in a subclass yeah. uh, we overriding that method and that overrided method is throwing yes. runtime exception so what do you think there will be error yes. or there it will run smoothly there will be exception or mm. there will be some issue or it will run smoothly what yeah. do you think yeah there will be a, a like exception but uh, it's not like uh, it's not a good practice to handle a runtime exception we can handle through code it itself so yeah so uh, it's not uh, like good practice to handle the runtime exception we need to handle co- through it code if there is in possibility for null pointer exception null pointer exception is in super class and in sub class uh, method we are overriding that super class method and also throwing runtime exception so is that possible no i think it, it will give the direct compilation error okay okay fine like okay. we we cannot so what is the difference between sure. comparable and comparator yeah mm, yeah so comparable Uh, both are the uh, like inter which we are using for sorting purpose mm, so like comparable is from uh, java dot language package and comparator is from java dot util package 
and in comparable we have like compare to method and in comparator we have okay. compare okay. method yeah, and that is fine uh, comparable when? we can use for a single sorting purpose okay. and we, if we need to like sorting multiple records in so that okay yeah that is fine but uh, when you will you prefer comparator over comparable or comparable over comparator when to Hello? use comparable or when to use comparator in hello your voice is breaking actually yeah now are you able to hear me yeah yeah but sometime it like uh, break Not okay sure. so you can turn yeah. off your video uh, ashish ha- have you taken yes. that screenshot yes 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 okay so can you tell me when you will prefer comparator over comparable uh yeah so uh, uh like as i said earlier uh, if i need to like uh, for single sort uh, like on the basis of one field uh, like id or anything so i can go for comparable and if i want to like uh, multiple sorting on multiple field so in that case i can use a comparable comparator do you think multiple like uh, for multiple elements you can't do sorting with comparable yeah can, we can uh, we can do that uh, uh, like uh, uh, using comparable also but i think uh, uh, on the basis of integer parameter we need to uh, in that case we need to uh, use compare uh, comparable interface okay so how do you how do we use it uh, like uh, like if if uh, like uh, if i have to like uh, sorting on the primitive classes basis so we can use uh, comparable and if i want to like uh, object sorting so in that case we can use uh, comparator okay okay so suppose i have yeah. a employee class and uh, yes. there are multiple fields like employee name employee salary and employee id m- many things so you want to sort yeah. these employee objects based on salary yeah so how do we how do we use the comparable and comparator uh yes so uh, in that case like uh, in comparable case i just pass the uh, a list and i will uh like uh, get the uh, sorting on the salary basis and i will compare the salary which are the salary is greater uh, i will uh, as, uh, uh, like uh, add into the list and i will uh, pass uh, okay, collection so dot uh, where, sort where do you write that logic of comparison yeah uh, in comparable uh, like i think uh, we need to create like in comparable case we can write uh, logic in our same class but in comparator case we need to like one comparator by implementing a comparator interface like we need to like one comparator class for that okay yeah okay so can you tell me what is the difference between equals method and double equals operator yeah so like <clears throat> Uh, double equals operator we can use for uh, like a reference purpose if if we want to check uh, both the reference are same uh, so uh, that purpose we will using uh, like uh, double equals operator and uh, if i want to uh, like uh, check if both the string uh, are equals so in that case uh, i will use uh, uh, equals method okay. so exact content if uh, if you want to match then we will use uh, equals method okay yeah so what type of garbage collectors are provided and how how you can choose any of the garbage collector i'm not sure sure about it but uh, yeah I, i know the things like uh, we have a garbage collector uh, like uh, uh, like uh, uh, that uh, finalize method uh, 
so basically we, we can use this uh, uh, garbage collector for uh, clean up purpose so uh, the uh, on the reference object we can uh, clean the using garbage collector have you heard about big integer mm, yeah big integer like it's like a, a wrapper class uh, like integer and big integer uh, so how do you initialize the big integer so a big big integer okay yeah okay fine so why java is uh, not 100% object oriented language uh, yeah so java is not 100% object oriented because in java we, we were using primitive classes also so okay. a primitive class is not uh, is not like a object okay okay so how if we are using java 8 so how do yes. we uh, avoid null pointer exception yeah if we are using java 8 so to avoid null pointer exception i can use like optional okay. one of the functional interface yeah what are the different methods in optional keyword uh, optional class you have used uh, optional class uh, uh, we 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 have used only like uh, uh, get uh, uh, value from like optional uh, so we have used get method and we have used another method like if the element is present or not for that we have used is present okay so uh, what is functional interface yeah functional interface is like uh, we have only one abstract method in that particular interface so can you so, name some of the functional interfaces uh, yeah like uh, func- uh, like uh, functions predicates and like optional these are the uh, uh, functional interfaces and what is clonable interface yeah clonable also sorry hello hello yeah am audible yeah yeah tell me yeah yeah clonable also is like functional interface so that means clonable has a method a single abstract method uh yeah yeah but uh, what is the name of that method no, not sure but okay so what is marker interface uh, like marker interface like it's like a, a blank interface we can say uh, we don't have method present in uh, marker interface so uh, the use of this marker marker interface is like at the while run time uh, it it will provide uh, some additional information to jvm and and the, and the compiler okay so can you give some of the example uh not really i i, I don't remember but yeah uh, uh, i think that's the use of uh, marker interface we yeah, have to use it but yeah okay okay so can you tell me difference between throw throws and throwable throw throws and throwable right yeah 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 so uh, yeah so throw is uh, we, we were using to like uh, declare exception uh, like throw the ex- exception from the method so throw is basically we, we were using in the method and throws uh, we were like we need to we were using for uh, uh, declare as well as to initialize the uh, like uh, exception on the method signature and a throwable is a like uh, exception based class okay base class yeah it's it's a top class uh, we can say in exception hierarchy 
Troy Valley is a class, right? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. So, what do you understand by lambda expression? Actually, uh, we we uh, like I I didn't get chance to work on mostly lambda expression. I mostly from Java it features we are using stream API and optional things. So, but in stream API you all you uh, use uh, lambda expressions, right? Yeah. So uh, lambda expression is like uh, uh, it's it's like an anonymous function. We we no need to uh, pass the argument as well as the name uh, for this particular function. we just need to use lambda um, sign operator and um, due to uh, and uh, using like method reference we can access the element from like a list or uh, from object okay so can i give you a scenario yes uh, you can, can you please share your screen yeah. and open notepad i want to give you a scenario you have to write down a code for it Yeah. yeah. So, are you comfortable with Stream API? Ah, uh, not really. Actually, ah, uh, Notepad plus plus. I I'm not sure about it. So Can you use like? Have you used Stream yeah. API in your any of the project? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. We we were using like uh, uh, basic uh, things from Stream API, like uh, sort or like uh, filter method. to filtering the like uh, list and all these things okay okay so i have a list yes okay so i have a list okay and in that list there are some integers yes there, there are some strings okay yes. names yes. actually different names yeah you have to find out uh the distinct name from that list okay yeah i think uh, we need to put filter on this list uh, we can convert this list into stream api and then we need to use like filter method and in filter we can pass like um str dot like uh, uh distinct function we can use and we can collect the result into uh, a list through a collector class okay okay no problem uh are you comfortable with the, uh, what type of databases you have used till now uh we were using postgres sql postgres sql yeah okay so are you familiar with sql queries uh yeah basic sql query we have written in a project uh, but the function and procedure i know the things but uh, not that much and so on okay so can you write down a simple query for me to find yeah. so we have a employee list employee yes. table sorry yeah okay in that i want to find out uh the like people with the middle name kumar so there is a column full name column and okay you need to find out people who have kumar as a middle name so can you write down on this query on notepad 